Over the years, we have shared some incredible viral iPhone hacks with Apple Design. Hacks that are truly unique as they are quite unusual and people seem to love them. We had the viral iPhone wallpaper tab, ChatGPT iPhone shortcut and the Iron Man wake up alarm. Well, here's again one of those extraordinary hacks we want to share with you. How to transform your own handwriting into a font, make it digital and use it. But that's not all. I will not only share how you create your own font, but also how to get this on your iPhone, your iPad and your Mac. This is literally a cheat code when I found this out. Trust me, everyone is gonna ask you how you got your own font on your iPhone and all your other Apple devices. This is your unique handwriting. For this, there are a couple steps we have to follow to get our own handwriting on our Apple devices. But after this, you will be so happy with the result. It definitely blew my mind when I found this out. You can use this in certain ways that we don't know yet. Most people are using it on their socials for creating their content in videos or posts on the internet. Let me show you how to get it. Step number one, go to kellygraffer.com and create a free account. Yes, we will also put the link in the description, so don't worry. And this site lets you turn your own handwriting into a personalized font. Step number two, choose your language and build out a template. I obviously went for English and I kept things pretty basic. Now an important step, download the template of kellygraffer.com. Do this as a PDF or PNG file. And now here are the two ways to do this and I will exactly show you both so you can choose what works best for you. Method number one is just with paper and method number two is on the iPad. You can do this with Procreate or other apps that support these kind of files. So it's quite easy and let me tell you already, please don't judge my writing skills as they are horrible but I know some of you and many people have an amazing handwriting and they should make use of it. So again try to use the method that works best for you and I would advise people with an iPad and an Apple Pencil to try it out on the iPad and people that don't have access to an iPad to just use physical paper. However the advantage with an iPad is that you can rewrite at any time when you made a couple mistakes or if you're just not happy with the result. So if you're using physical paper, one pro tip, print multiple pages as I did. When you mess up, you can always use another blank page to start again. Step number four, maybe the most fun part of this process, draw your handwriting in the boxes. Okay, so right now we're going to try the second method. For this, we have our iPad and on this side we have the Mac. And what we are going to do is quite easy. Over here, what you can see, we have the same PDF template of Calligrapher that we used as a paper version. And now we have it as a PDF right here. We're gonna airdrop our document, our PDF to our iPad. So we can fill in this PDF digitally. And as I said, if we make mistakes, we can always adjust. I'm gonna airdrop it right now. Accept it. And over here we have the PDF. I have my Apple Pencil. And I could already adjust things over here if I want to. This is just the standard files app of the iPad. So I'm gonna undo this, but I'm curious which other apps also support it. And I'm just gonna press the little pencil icon in the top right. I can zoom in and to really be on point. So the thing we will have to do is just fill in as we did on paper, but now we do it digitally. And again, please don't judge my writing skills as they are really terrible. And if you want, you can adjust some of the letters that, that didn't work for you. 
And there you go, the digital written out template. Now all we have to do is we have to save it, export it back to our computer and then transform it into the right font file. And then we're gonna do the last step, which is getting again this font back on your iPhone and on your iPad. So hit done. Airdrop. We open it and there we have it. Our not so beautiful written font, but just the process is amazing. We have filled in all the letters, symbols. So now we have to upload our font to the website again. What we need to do now is we need to upload our font back to Categraph to transform it into the right font file that we can use on our iPhone and iPad. You just log in with your account that you created. No fonts yet, which is normal. You have to create any fonts. Upload our template. I'm gonna upload the one I made it with my iPad. Let's see if it's gonna work out. So as you can see, you can even remove some of the symbols that we made or letters. As they're saying, if you're not satisfied with a character, removing it by clicking on the trash can and it will not be added to your existing font. We don't really care right now because we just want to show you the process of it. But again, this is quite limited. I only have like 60 characters. There are many other options if you'd like to. It's time to build my font, call it AD font test. And as you can see over here, it recognized all the letters and symbols that I used. Here are the TTF and OTF files. We just have to download them from the website. So that's done. And now what we need to do is we need to airdrop these back to our iPhone and iPad. And then I will take you to the next steps. But what we also can do is download or basically install this font on my Mac. We can open it onto this Mac and use it in the Mac. And there you go. You have your own font on your Mac. How amazing is that? Right now you can open it in the apps that I talked to you about. And now the magical part, getting this font on our iPhone or iPad or Mac. Now we created our font, our handwriting. We want to export it from our Mac to our iPhone. You do that via AirDrop and then you can find it back into your files. And as you can see, there it is. I can press on it, nothing really happens. So what we need to do now is to get that font into the system of our iPhone. And we do this the following way. You have to download the app called iFont. There it is, I already installed it. Open the app here, I opened the iFont app and we just hit continue. Where do you want it for? I want it for personal use, but you can also skip all the specific questions that they ask you, skip, skip. Now, don't take a subscription, just hit the cross in the top left, ask app not to track. And then over here, we have to import our font from our files. So hit the plus icon, then select your font, open it, and then we get this menu. Here we have to install the font or our handwriting into the app. So hit install and then we will get this menu. So our iPhone have to accept the fact that a third party app wants to add the font into our iPhone system. So this is what we need to do. We have to press allow and we'll ask for a profile download. Review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it, okay? And that's what we're going to do, open settings. And in settings, you will get some kind of alert in profile downloaded. And there you have it. The install profile is the add font test regular that I wanted to use in this specific app. As you can see more details, okay. And we want to install this. So hit install, put in your passcode, gives it a warning and we hit install, install. And then hit done. Now we will have to go back into the iFont app and your font is now ready to be used. Hit done, hit install and as you may have seen it still has a little issue and that's not the first time I have it. Don't worry we're gonna fix this. Close the app, open iFont again and as you can see 
it has been installed. What you also might have to do is just restart your iPhone and then it will recognize the font. Now we're all good to go. This font can be used in particular third party apps that support the use of other fonts. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The app I'm gonna use for the purpose of showing you this is Good Notes, but you can use your own favorite apps that support this feature. Next, skip it for now. Cree, student, next, university, business. Okay, now we hit the plus sign, make a study set, create. Let's type our text. This is a test font. And now hit the two A's in the top right corner. Over here you can select your font. And there you go, there is my created handwriting. Hit it and as you can see, my font has been created. And so yeah, I haven't exploited this that much, but I'm so curious which apps you will use this for and in which way people will use this creative feature. But what we're also gonna do right now is test it out on the iPad. So let's head over to the iPad. Okay, I'm gonna airdrop the TTF file from my Mac to my iPad, except there we have our font and we'll follow the same steps. So in the app store, I font. Let's open the app, follow the same steps as we did on the iPhone. Skip, 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 skip. Hit the cross in the top left, skip, not to track. Hit the plus icon in the top, there we have our font. Open it. It recognized it, hit install. We're gonna have to follow the same steps that we just did on the iPhone. Open settings on the left profile, download. Yes, install, enter my passcode. There we go, install, install, and hit done. Check back if iPhone recognized our own handwriting. Font saved, and as you can see, okay, didn't work again so close the app and open it again and as you can see now it recognized it and we will see if we can use our own font now i'm gonna open a sketch type in some text is a test font let's check if it's in the list all the way up and there you go our horrible font has been recognized and we can use it. How amazing is that? Again, I'm so curious how people are gonna use it. I only showcase like 10, 20%. Yeah, you can also use it on your Mac. When you're typing, you use your own font. And so just to share you that this is also possible on Mac, here I just have a blank page in Photoshop, but you can use Canva or CapCut or any other software that supports third-party fonts. And then in your font section, it already recognized it for me. Here you have my handwriting and you can just type whatever you like. Now, how amazing is this? Watch people lose their minds. Everyone's gonna ask where you got that unique font from. They will pause your videos, analyze your content, take screenshots and try to reverse search your unique handwriting it's yours that is so special and so if you like this iphone hack then you will probably love our video on how to get your own custom ringtone on iphone check it out over here peace